What's up guys, Jason here, back at it again with another video. So, what the tech is going on? I know it's been a while since we've reviewed laptops on this channel, but I do think that this laptop is just too good to let it pass. As you've seen in our title, we are going to talk about the Asus B3 Flip, B3402F, or just the Expert Book B3 Flip for short, and four reasons why I think you should consider it. Looking back, if you guys remember, we've reviewed a gaming laptop from Asus, that was the Asus Zephyrus S about two years ago. Now what we have is the Asus ExpertBook B3 Flip, which is a business or educational, more oriented laptop. So yeah, somehow my first time reviewing a laptop from Asus, which is not a gaming laptop. This convertible device is available right now, and I'll put the product link in the description box below. One reason why I think this device is worth considering is it's a two-in-one device. It's not just a laptop. During these times when the world is slowly returning back to normal, the need for a reliable and well specced workstation has greatly increased. Asus offers us the ExpertBook B3 Flip, which offers the best of both worlds, just like this. Well, that was pretty awkward. Anyway, it is a convertible device that allows you to use it as a tablet as well. Well, actually, turning this laptop into a tablet is pretty easy thanks to the hinge mechanism. It is smooth and has unlimited stops, so whatever you're working on, be it watching movies, taking notes, giving presentations, you'll get the angle that you need. Also, what's a tablet without a stylus? What I like about this laptop is that the stylus is built in into the side of the device which makes it easy to store and hard to lose. Believe me, I've lost several styluses before because I always leave it on the counter of some coffee shops. This pen is thin and light and fits really well into my hand. And the tips are also replaceable which is good. And there are two buttons which functions as your left and right clicks. It's not the type of pen that is just put there to market for the sake of having a pen. Writing feels natural, and the device recognizes the pressure of each stroke. Speaking of the display, it is a 14-inch Full HD touchscreen with a ratio of 16 by 9. Perfect for consuming media, wide enough to multitask, and when used as a tablet, gives you the perfect ratio to read articles on. Although, you might find the display's brightness a bit lacking when working outside since it only peaks at 400 nits. And if you guys notice, the bezels are not the thinnest you can find on the market right now. Probably because when you're using it as a tablet, to give your hand some space to rest on. Now on to the keyboard. The chiclet-styled keyboard is fun to type on, giving a good amount of travel, and it's also backlit, which is nice for someone like me who prefers to work at nighttime. The second reason why I think you should consider this device is because of its build and durability. The overall build quality of this device is pretty solid. It has a metal lid and a plastic base. The keyboard has some flex when pressing down on it, but it's definitely nothing to worry about. It also has spill resistance in case you accidentally spilled fluid on the keyboard, which is a must-have feature in any workstation. The hinges feel pretty solid too whenever I'm flipping this device, and Asus has put a lot of effort into making this a pretty durable device. It has a military grade of MIL STD 810H, and not just that, it also has undergone antibacterial treatment which can help keep the surface of this device clean and sanitary. Now the third reason why I think you should consider the Asus ExpertBook V3 Flip is because of its ports. Lots of ports. Now at the size of this device, you'll see the I.O. ports, complete with just the right amount of ports. At the left, there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, a full-sized HDMI port, and lastly, there is a pen slot. The pen slot is actually my favorite feature because I can just tuck the pen in when I'm done using it. Losing pens will be lessened. And at the right, you have a gigabit Ethernet port, a USB 2.0 Type-A port, the 3.5mm audio port, and a dedicated volume rocker. Pretty rare to see that on laptops, and usually you just control the volume via the keyboard, but this is a nice add-on. And on the keyboard, there is a slot for a camera. This particular model doesn't have it, but if you get the higher model, you'll get a 13 megapixel world-facing camera. The power button also serves as the fingerprint sensor. It is fast and always works, and is my preference when opening the device. The trackpad is a bit small for my taste, but hey, with the touchscreen display, you'll rarely use it. It is smooth and responsive. 
Speaking of the webcam, it is a 720p camera which isn't really the clearest during video calls. But good thing, Asus has the 3D noise reduction technology which eliminates the unwanted random noise that affects the camera especially in low light conditions, improving the image quality without compromising exposure. It also has this little slider that physically blocks the camera for added privacy. Not only that, a dedicated button that turns off the camera is also located at the keyboard. And the last reason why I think you should consider the Asus B3 Flip is because of its battery. Powering this device is a 50 watt hour battery which isn't exactly large, but for the hardware it does well. I used this laptop for quite some time and it managed to last me about 6 to 7 hours when I was binge watching some of my favorite anime. That's almost a full season, but when you use it for productivity tasks, I'm sure it'll last you a lot longer. Enough for your whole day of work with a little extra to spare. So yeah, if your biggest priority is semi-professional work, note-taking abilities, great business features such as good quality conference calls. Oh, in regards to this, I forgot to mention that the Asus ExpertBook B3 Flip also has a feature called AI-assisted noise cancellation. It is essential for conference calls, especially when you're outside or in a noisy environment. And lastly, it has really great structural resistance. So yeah, again, for its prices and availability, I'll put it on the description box down below. So yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Again, it's me, Jason. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.